Hey guys, M12 Warthog here. It's been a while since I uh, did one of these videos. I've done some grinding off screen, like I'm 55 on popularity rankings. Figured I'd crank out some of that before we start recording. And now we are doing another purple event. Purple wristband event. You're not allowed to enter that car into this event. You need to select another. I'm gonna go with my Mustang here. I know you're confident, but come on. Get some upgrades on your ride if you don't want to struggle at the back of the pack. And we're gonna upgrade that because the other one that we had that was A-class was not optimized for A-class. Plymouth Cuda, I could have gone with that, but I've had this uh, Mustang for much longer, so I'm more familiar with how it works. Okay, let's see. Mega muscle, okay, that makes sense. Uh, muscle cars, okay. I'm gonna need, I've got one other driver if I can get close enough to see all the other cars is probably driving a similar car to mine. Okay, maybe not, I can't. No. Actually, yeah, so it is. It's just a different color, and I haven't bothered to respray mine. And you know I might do that. I, I never really did get around to that. Okay, well. Let's see, though. I think what I'm going to do, though, I really want to get going with the gold wristband events, but I definitely know that getting all the purple ones will help me. And to me, I honestly do not give two craps what order I do them in, as long as all of them get done. If you like to see ones, uh, if you like to see me do certain ones first, um, one suggested race events suggested in the comment section will pretty much be done first if if I can find it on the map and provided I haven't done it already. So yeah. Uh, see about that. Anyway, I think we are doing pretty good, despite the fact that, uh, Healy is right on my tail, the driver. This is not going to be fun if they get in front of me. I took that turn a bit too wide, and I probably am regretting that now. I'm getting some distance on Haley, so or so I'm gonna try and get as far as I can ahead. We are in 54 now for for a popularity rankings. Was it 54 before I? Uh, it doesn't matter if I said I was if if I was one off in popularity rankings at the beginning. It doesn't matter now. What matters is that we actually are making progress towards that as well. Okay. So let's see here. We are... So far so good, I guess. It solid lead. There's another inflatable arm... Flailing Tube Man thingy mabobber. Keep seeing those all around, and I can never say the names properly, but yet I've seen videos of people do it, like, like, super fast, and they're able... I don't know... I don't know how they are able to do that, but anyway. Let's see here. What do we want to do? Okay. This is going to be... I thought this one was going to be a bit more challenging. As some of the surfaces change. It's all asphalt, but the type of asphalt seems to change because the color of it seems to differ. But I don't think that's affected my vehicle that much. I mean, if I went from asphalt to off-road, then that would have been a bigger... Then that would have been a bigger problem for me because this car is not off-road. And I consider any vehicle off-road if it has all-wheel drive, in my opinion. I'm not... I'm 
There might be cars that are designed for off-road that may not be all-wheel drive. I don't know if that makes sense, but yeah. So, more and more progress towards what we want to hand. No. Uh, nah, I'm not going to stay in the Mustang. It's a good car, but I want to... But I don't really feel like driving around in that. Okay, let's see. Map. Thing is, we're up here. We might as well go to this circuit race here. In 400 yards, turn sharp right. Let's see. This race should be quick and easy, I think. Get done. I meant, I, I, I don't know, like, I really did not think I was going to do well, but all-wheel drive only. Well, if it's mixed surface circuit race and they only put front wheel or rear wheel, then you're sort of shooting all the racers in the foot before the race starts. So I'm glad they didn't. All-wheel drive, S-Class. Select another one from your garage. And, of course, I go with this car. Whenever I need an all-wheel drive car, I pretty much go to this one. I got it at, I think, a lower class, but I've upgraded it to S-Class. Like, it's upgraded over the playthrough. Started out okay to half decent to, to now it's at the part where it's like, holy crap. Uh, I don't know what comes after that, but uh, we'll find out if I ever decide to upgrade it. But it seems like a lot of the off-road stuff doesn't require um, vehicles that are higher than S-Class, I think. But if there were to be, I feel like they would be like sports cars that also have all-wheel drive. And that would go super fast, and I already have those. And I think those would be better suited for that said race. But I don't know. I have used this car in races that are not necessarily mixed surface or off-road, but, you know, if it, it's an S-Class car, it's a good one, and I will, and I'm pretty confident that it will give me a solid performance in a race when I, when I need it to, so, I'm not too concerned here. Kind of sharp turns they want us to make. I would imagine that if you don't have a all-wheel drive car, that you would start doing unintentional donuts like everywhere. <laughs> I feel like that would happen. Like you tell it to turn a little, and then it goes way too freaking much, and then you like spin out of control, like I did there. Thank you for crashing into me and causing that to happen. But I feel like that would happen. And then again, you'd probably get some sick points and show off and higher in popularity. But at the cost of uh, losing a race. So you probably wouldn't place any faster. Any place any further towards progression in the tournament or whatever you want to call this. I guess it is like a tournament. There's no brackets or anything. You just need to get enough points to proceed to the next round. By you getting points prevents other racers from getting points. So I guess it's like that. I don't know. Anyway, I got some solid air there. That that's kind of cool. Smash these signs. It's mainly I sort of have to because I was taking a little bit of a wider turn and I really need to do that. Like first time I didn't ever. First time I played like Mario Kart Double Dash and that's the only other like racing game I have to compare. I turned. Like. I did wide turns, and, like, I always slowed down on turns, and I hated them. And then I realized that maybe if I stayed to the inside of the turn as much as possible, yeah, I would get places faster, because then I'm traveling less distance. But yet, it doesn't seem to make that much of a difference here. I don't know why. Mainly, it's because I, when I do take the wider distances, I tend to not crash into anything, whereas if I try to take it too close close as possible, I crash into the side, and then that and then that slows me down. Whereas the signs, they don't slow me down that much, I would imagine. Okay. 
Nonetheless, someone's caught up to me. Or close to it. I do not want to look back at them. And I accidentally did, but it doesn't matter. Okay! Well, that was done. We got another race done. The drivers are starting to talk about you. Way to go, racer boy. Talk about me. The only thing they have to talk about is how I'm going to get to the championship. No thanks. Okay. Let's see here. Where am I going now? Do you want to? Sure, I guess we'll go on a Subaru. Unless it's a fast sports car or an all-wheel drive car that I can literally drive anywhere to get to my next race, I usually don't drive anything other than that. With the exception of uh, at the beginning of the at the beginning of the playthrough when I didn't have that those kinds of cars, but now that I do. Turn around when it is safe to do so. Where are we going here? I'm just gonna follow this thing and hope it takes me there. Right. Ah. Sharp left. Okay, I'm gonna cut the corner here. Doing good. 54th. Almost to 53rd. Doing very, very, very good. So far, I've... I've expected myself to do this well, because it's like my only second racing game I've ever played. Then I go ahead and beat that expectation and figured, well, there's no way I could do this, and it turns out I break it, so... I don't know. Everything about this is just shocking to me that I've made it here. I bet even if I do meet Darius in the championship, he's going to be a pain in the butt to beat. Okay. Anyway, this is, oh yeah, 53rd. We are killing it in the popularity rankings. Whoops. Apparently that's an E-drift. I'm not sure what the difference is between an E-drift and a normal drift. I don't know. Anyway. Hey, win this race and you'll be a permanent fixture on Darius's radar. He's starting to get twitchy. <laughs> okay. Asphalt point to point, so all wheel drive is not really a must have. Uh, it must be Nissan, so let's just check. Do we have a. Well, I guess we have to go with this. It's the only option. Which, by the way, is all wheel drive, so. Because we're doing asphalt point to point, the all wheel drive's not really going to have that much of an effect, but uh, the extra two wheels in the all. But the act. Because it has extra wheels for the drive. It's definitely going to give me a better launch. I know that. So, let's hop into this and see if we can pull another victory out of this out of this recording session. Oh, it's I think it's been s How long has it been since I actually actually have done this? I do not know. I mean, driven in this kind of car. I don't know, but I've seemed to be driving smoothly so far. Haven't done any major wipeouts or accidents. Passed some people. Ooh, slingshot. I still do not know what that means. I'm just happy that it's giving me points towards the next popularity level at this point. Oh! Get wrecked! Got him first. Why do I feel like this is one of the races... I just did, but backwards. It sort of seems like it is. Anyway, progress is being made. What is this topping out at? I saw it top out at up to like four, uh, 146. But it could go faster.
Let's see. Oh, we're at the halfway mark. Okay. We need to get ahead faster and faster and faster. Oh. Fifty-third. We are rolling in the popularity points now. One thing that I sort of like about this is that the the this that the speed points where you're supposed to race through and uh do you if you can meet your friend's time is like right around a corner. So you have to try and make it as fast as you can while still trying to go around the turn. It's kind of hard to pull off and I probably don't have a high speed there. But I like it how they put them in different locations so it's not just straight up from a standing start on a straightaway and try and see if you can get the high score because then that's just really just buy the best car in the game and try and go at it. They actually make it so that you have to have some skill to it. I also like it how they don't make you worry about that mid-race so if you drive by it it doesn't flash or anything like that or do anything that would distract you. Which would make sense because if you're driving next to other people in high-speed cars you don't want to all of a sudden have a flash directly at the driver and Blind him for a second or two. That would be bad. Well, we finished first. Let's continue. Always good to see a rookie making waves. That was 23,000 for that. Not bad. 2,360 more points to go. No thank you. Sure, we'll go in this one. Anyway, guys, I think now is a great time to end off this episode here. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, take the time to leave any comments, questions, or feedback for me in the comments section down below would be highly appreciated. And I will see you guys later in another video. Bye-bye.